the more we value ourselves, the more we value others. Hi, I'm Catherine Goshen, a professional astrologer from the village of Nyack in New York State and I'm passionate about in-depth astrology and getting to the heart of the matter. In this video, I'd like to talk about Venus retrograde cycles and how we can handle them gracefully. So when we think about Venus in astrology, we know that she's the brightest planet in the sky and she brings blessings. She's the significator of beauty and grace. And Venus is also very much about what we attract and what we appreciate in life. As such, Venus rules love, close one-on-one -on -one relationships, dating and marriage. She also has jurisdiction over our possessions and money. And if you think about all those things together, Venus is about what we value most. This also links to our self-worth because when we value ourselves, we are able to project a certain way so that we will attract someone into our life who in turn will value us. When we value our money, we are able to accumulate more because we build up a relationship of respect. And the fascinating thing with Venus is that she often shows where we have very deep attachments and how we can work with these in order to be our best selves. The more we value ourselves, the more we value others and we can build a flow in life, a flow of love and a flow of abundance without holding on. So now I'd just like to touch on some important strategies for coping with all Venus retrogrades. Firstly, Venus retrogrades are an excellent time to go for any kind of counseling, especially if you've been having problems with self-esteem. Marital counseling is also favored during this time because when Venus turns retrograde, she asks us to go very deep and look at what are our values based on. What do we need to realign so that we can be truer to ourselves? Some things that are not favored during the re Venus retrograde cycles are entering into a brand new relationship and taking it too quickly. For example, you may meet a stranger and decide to move in with them or get engaged. The suggestion from astrology is to wait until after the Venus retrograde period is over. There's no harm in taking it slowly and enjoying it, but one tends to see very differently once Venus stations direct again. Likewise, if you meet up with someone from your past, this is a very common occurrence during a Venus retrograde cycle, connecting with old lovers, old friends. Absolutely wonderful, enjoy them. But once again, don't take it too seriously until after the, the retrograde period. Secondly, money. When Venus is retrograde, we're encouraged to save and to consolidate our assets. This is an inauspicious time to start a business or to launch a new product. If at all possible, wait until after the retrograde to get your new business into gear. The other thing that is very important during a Venus retrograde is not to spend a whole lot of money on a deal that looks 
and probably is too good to be true. We might be attracted by shiny new objects, shiny new things, but really pause because after the retrograde period, things will look different and we don't want you to lose money. Thirdly, if you are planning a huge cosmetic makeover, this is not the time. Wait until afterwards. If you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to know more about Venus and her cycles, visit my website. I have an extensive article there. Until next time. Thank you.